I don't normally carry a halo of happiness with me from Texas, and I guess uh, this morning I have to say my heart is heavy watching what is going on in Texas this morning. It's a little bit cheap and easy, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to tie that into what I'm here to talk about, uh, because I think it's actually surprisingly relevant. When I put this presentation together months ago for the first time, I wasn't thinking there would be a huge tens of billions of dollars claim event, flood event going on in Texas. <clears throat> but I'm, I live in San Antonio, so it is, uh, in Texas terms, we are close neighbors of Houston, uh, and I do feel it. So we're going to talk about that a little bit. Um, I forgot my about sellant slide, um, which normally sits right here. But uh, <laughs> you might be familiar with this. I'm going to refer to sellant research. Uh, we're an analyst firm. And we talk about technology and financial services. So insurance, banking, uh, capital markets. My background is actually insurance. So I, I carry the burden of a career in insurance. And I'm going to bring that to bear on what I'm here to talk about today a little bit as well. Um, so I want to share some sellant research with you. It is about the happiness halo. I'll explain that in a little bit. But to frame this, I guess I want to, I want to maybe set the bar a little bit on my own presentation. I want to plant some seeds with you. I'm not here to pick technology. I'm not here to tell you what's going to work. We're going to go upstream a little bit and say, here's a way to think about technology that is broader than any one technology. I love InsureTech. We cover InsureTech. We have 100 reports about the topics we've all been talking about already today and, and we'll talk about for the rest of today. But I want to go upstream of all of them and say, how should we think about technology? So I'm going to frame this in, in terms of three questions. First, is insurance relevant? And again, we'll come back to the Houston example. Yeah, it's relevant. That's my, my little spoiler. Second question, are we connected to our customers? And I have a very specific thing in mind when I say, are we connected to our customers? I'm not talking about are we plugged in? Are we digitally connected? I'm talking about emotional connection. In fact, when I was on the plane on the way here, I thought, you know, I missed an opportunity. I should have put on this slide a big picture of Dr. Neil Clark Warren. Anybody know who that is? He's the guy who, uh, what, boy, I just blanked on the, on the site. Uh, not match.com, not dating.com. Harmony, eHarmony, thank you. eHarmony talks about emotional connection. He's got a, 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 a computer-based algorithm that gets at emotional connection. <laughs> nice, I like it. I think we need that. And then finally, the third question I want to talk about is what is the plan to get us from where we are today to where I think we, we should be? 